Hey everyone, David Burgess here again with Keller Williams Realty. Welcome back to my channel on this beautiful morning here in Apollo Beach. And uh, it's been a little while since I've um, been in this area to do a video. I've done plenty here before, talking about the, giving a general overview and the best neighborhoods in Apollo Beach and what's going on. But there's been a lot of growth in this area over the last um, two or three years really, and mainly where I am right now in the water set community but really need to tell you about what's going on here, what's changed since my last videos, and, uh, and keep you up to date with how this whole area is shaping up in 2022 uh, moving forward. So stick around, today we are talking all things Apollo Beach. If this is the very first time you've ever come across Apollo Beach and you just want more insight to the area, you don't know anything about here, this area is a very desirable suburb of Tampa Bay and it sits in South Hillsborough County and you are um, heading further south away from Tampa itself. And, um, and to access here, you really have to go down I-75 or um, Highway 41, but you're definitely heading further south and, um, and Apollo Beach itself is facing west, so you get some beautiful sunsets there. However, the beach isn't really well known for being a very desirable beach. It's not like people are flocking there to, uh, to utilize the beach. It sits beside a, um, a big power plant there. Um, and, um, and, and what it's really well known for this area is just having great water access um, so a lot of people will have their own boats and use the local slip or they'll have their own private docks um, whether that's an HOA community or a non HOA community um, going back to like the 80s like this whole kind of Gulf and Sea area was was one of the first kind of um, developing neighborhoods in this area and you can see behind me here that all of the homes are very different they're they're all custom but they're all kind of older and will probably need some updating or remodeling in some shape or form um, but since then we've had a lot more um, HOA communities with water access develop over the last 20 years in places like Mirror Bay here which is just absolutely beautiful um, and they're more with like your master plan communities and they'll have a clubhouse and a pool and, and obviously higher fees um, and we also have like Symphony Isles and Andalusia um, there's quite a few uh, HOA communities here that have boat access too so it really just depends on what you're looking for um, but since then, over the last five or six years, we've had this huge master plan community water set um, where I am right now, um, which has really, really grown and developed into something bigger and better than I could ever have, have thought it was gonna be. It was always desirable, but boy, oh boy, is it, has it really grown over the years. And, um, and that's what I wanted to discuss today because there's a lot of things going on here. They've just opened a brand new overpass, which is right behind me that you can see. Um, this this road has an overpass bridge, however you want to uh, describe it, has connected Riverview to Apollo Beach, and th this has been so welcome to a lot of residents in this area. Not probably not for the people that live right directly backing up to it or in that very general vicinity right there uh, but people in this general area really needed a cut through to Apollo Beach and beforehand the only way you could really get there from Riverview was to go um, along Big Bend Road and that is where the exit for two four, exit 246 is for I-75 and this whole area and um, exit is just a big mess right now. So the very first development that we've got going on here in this area is, is the overpass Paseo Al Mar that I've just mentioned. Um, it connects um, you know, Riverview to, to Apollo Beach and it is just the Belmont community and the Waterset community on either side of I-75 now meets. And it's just, it's just so easy to go straight over there and, and through to Apollo Beach Boulevard and to Highway 41 so so needed um, but um, you know like I said there's probably a lot of people here that have been in this area for a long long time that are going to disagree with me but I, uh, I personally think it's it's a godsend so that was the first uh, first major thing that's happened in this area but just going back to exit 246 
this area has, it's just been, it really is a bottleneck. It, 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 there's never a good time for it, you know, for it um, for, to avoid traffic and um, especially through rush hour, it's always uh, under construction and, um, and it's needed revamping, reconfiguring and widened for a long time. And that is now under construction and happening, which is great. But for the next two or three years until that is done, thing, this whole exit is gonna get a lot worse before it gets any better. Um, so that is something else that I really have to point out with Apollo Beach and how things are really developing because that does impact um, Apollo Beach as much as it uh, impacts Riverview um, or the southern part of Riverview as Riverview is east and Apollo Beach is west. This whole area here is gonna be messy uh, for the next two or three years. However, it really is needed. Um, so have to point that out too. But um, but water set where I am right now, um, we have there's a there's a lot going on here. There's there's a new um, shopping centre that is being built um, off this Paseo Elmar, and uh, and there's going to be a load of um, a load more kind of stores and and um, a pub and and just just gem a little bit more general retail here. Um, and as you can see right next to it, there's a huge apartment complex which has popped up too. Um, these these suburbs here aren't used to too many apartments, but they've really come on and grown over the last two or three years but we'll talk apartments for another video another day and what they charge for rent is unbelievable but people pay it so um so anyway moving on from apartments it just goes to show that you know what has really evolved here over the last few years because apollo beach didn't have any apartments before but something like water set is going to trigger more and more of these apartments if they're obviously being um, occupied which it looks like they are so um so yes you've got more and more shopping here there's a new Publix going at the front of water set um, and going back to Paseo Al Mar, there is a brand new school which is opening in uh, August 2022 right now called the York Innovative Academy. And that is right by that overpass that I just showed you. Um, so that is a K through eight. And this area, Apollo Beach, really isn't known for its schools. So um, so this is, um, you know, I'm not allowed to say what's a good school and what is a, what's a bad school, but obviously do your research and look at ratings and things. But normally new schools are very good here and and being in such a highly desirable community water set truly is it's one of tampa bay's very very best it's very open it has a real mixture of homes single family luxury homes to townhouses to villas it has something for everybody here um, it's not gated, but it has excellent, excellent amenities, many clubhouses and fitness centers, etc. This, they're gonna lap up this school. Like it, it really is, it's very much gonna be welcomed by the residents in this community. Um, and I'll be very surprised if that school doesn't become a really well-rated school. So definitely look into York Innovative Academy, um, but that is another welcome addition uh, to Apollo Beach since my last video here two or three years ago. Other additions to the water set community is there's a brand new sports complex coming in the middle of the community. That's been in the works for some time. It's gonna have some soccer fields and some other uh, general facilities um, for, uh, for sport access, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this area has many kind of open open areas uh, and fields and things for, for kids to play and, and great playgrounds and obviously fitness centers. Um, but, uh, but actually having like soccer fields and stuff, it is in need of. So that's wonderful, especially as it's my favorite sport. Uh, but at the front of the community at uh, Waterset, on the Big Bend entrance, they are adding another Publix, which is fantastic because I think there's only yeah, within a two or three mile radius, I think there's only four or five Publixes, so we definitely need another one here. Now, I, of course, excuse my sarcasm, but I, lo I love Publix, I really, really do, but you know, there's another one coming here. I, I would love to see something else, like a Target or something, because I feel like this area really needs one, uh, or some bigger box retail, or even like a Home Depot or something. It doesn't have one of those right now. It has like a big, um, a big kind of warehouse facility, Home Depot, on the corner of Big Bend and 41, but they could do with some more like um so you know some actual diy stores or something like that they've got an ace hardware up the road but not a lowe's or a, they just need something a bit different so uh, another Publix is like eh, okay but um but i believe this little section here is going to have a gas station too and um and some other retail as well and then on the other side of that entrance apparently there's going to be some townhouses there by dr horton and i will come on to um real estate in a minute and what's going on in this area with 
homes. Um, but um, but yeah, that's going to be on the other side of that um, that entrance. Um, and just lastly, um, going back to um, to Highway 41, there are some other um, retail stores that have popped up there as well on the other side of where that yard is being built. Um, they're going to have well, you can see it right behind me here. They've just opened a, a Starbucks here. I say just open; it was open about a year ago, but they've added like a, a dentist there and a um, you know there's like a liquor store and some other bits and pieces behind there is more kind of 80s and older strip malls and plazas and things so they've got some newer ones um, to kind of um, complement them I guess so um, so yeah as you can see just more and more going on here and it's really just to accommodate all these people that are moving to Apollo Beach whether that's uh, you know whether that's in a boaters community one of these huge master plan communities where they're purchasing homes um, or in those apartments um, which are just um, which are really just a, a bit of a surprise to me to be honest but um, but I guess they have a need for some people if they're if they have a temporary need for them or if they have uh, you know they want to stay there long term and use the facilities there I guess they meet people's needs so um, so yeah that is um, the main growth that's going on here so let's talk about homes and what is going on in the real estate world especially with new homes being built here in Apollo Beach so yes, they are still building plenty of new homes in this area. I did just mention those DR Horton townhouses, but they are going to be um, they are going to be more towards the um, you know the first quarter of 2023 at least. They're not going to be ready for some time um, as that area hasn't even been cleared yet. Um, but if you um, go out to 41, they are building other DR Horton townhouses at Mangrove Point here. Um, and they are building single family homes on the other side of the street at Mangrove Manor. Um, so those are a little bit, they're a little bit close to the interstate for me, not the interstate, the highway. Um, on 41 there so it, I would recommend that you go as far back into the community as you can because I think you'll be able to hear the, the traffic um, but coming back into water set you still have Cardell, David Weekly and Homes by West Bay they've been leading the charge here since day one since this community opened six or seven years ago uh, but they're still building at the back of the community and um, to be honest I've sold less and less homes in here over the years um, there was a year where I was like the top realtor in, the, in this community for selling the most amount of homes. But you know, I love good lots, and I love um, you know, I I love uh, good options with that because over the last couple of years, people haven't really had many options when it comes to lot purchasing. Um, the the community is very it's getting narrower and narrower. Water set. And on one side you have I-75, the other side you have um, Highway 41 and a train track, uh, railway running through it. And in the middle you have power lines, all three things that I, I advise to stay away from. So you have to be a bit careful here in where you choose your lot, especially over the last couple of years. I feel like the most desirable phases of water set are at the front or the middle of the community and not so much towards the back. Um, so you just have to be a little bit conscious because I, I assure you a lot of what they have available today I wouldn't consider a great lot. Um, not everywhere, you know, it's not going to be from top to bottom. That isn't a hard and fast rule. But I would just be a little bit conscious of, of some of these uh, some of these homes and what they back up to. So, um, so yeah, David Weekly, Homes by West Bay and Cardell. You can still build homes in here. And um, Casa Fresca are building here too. They're a kind of entry-level builder that is an, a part of the West Bay umbrella. Um, they're quite near to the sports complex that was that is being built. Um, but again, they're very close to power lines too, so just be a little bit careful. Uh, but those homes are going to range in the kind of four to 500 range. Um, and they're building a good, you know, they're building quite a few there and they'll be here for the next year or two. So um, I would definitely look at Casa Fresca's options. Again, I'll put this in the description below so you can access them if you want to check them out. Um, homes on the water now um Marisol Point, which is part of, Mar uh, part of Mira Bay, it's kind of like a, 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 an additional extension, if you like. Um, they have some homes that are on the water, at least technically. They're pretty much on a canal, which backs up to other homes that are on the canal. I don't find them very desirable, to be honest, but they are, um, you can have a, a dock and have water uh, access going out to the bay. It's gonna be a bit windy and take a little bit to get there. Um, and they're pretty pricey, um, so, 
I haven't sold any yet. I've really tried to market them and people haven't been that interested. Um, so I, I think that's for a reason, to be honest. I think the prices are too high for what they are. Um, the homes on the other side of the street, however, back up to conservation. And I, I personally think they're more desirable in the sense they're lower priced and they're just more private lots. But of course, they're not on the water or don't have water access. So, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if they'll be for you or not. Honestly, if you are looking for a, a boaters community, I recommend, I still prefer um, South Shore Yacht Club, which is further south in Ruskin. Um, although Ruskin isn't as desirable as Apollo Beach and it's further south, that community is very, very nice. I really like WCI's homes. I love their floor plans and they have much better lots and quicker access to the water. It's closer to the water than being further back on those canals. So although we're talking about Apollo Beach today, I recommend the South Shore Yacht Club in Ruskin if you're looking for a brand new home on the water here. Again, though, it's going to be—it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be in the kind of 800 to a million range um, if you want a private dog. They do have homes off the water too, if you want to look look at those and just be having close access to the water. But you're not—you wouldn't be able to have a private dog. There is a marina there if you want to take advantage of, of storing your boat in a marina. But um, but yeah, I know it's not the, the same as having um, true water access from your backyard. So um, so that's really it for um, for new construction homes. I don't think there's any other options really in this area of. Um, um, of note to really shout about um, but um, but yeah you can still build plenty of um, new construction homes here and um, and yeah you know if I can be of any assistance you know where I am all of my contact information is below uh, myself um, and my team here are here to help um, depending on if you're looking for a resale home or a new home obviously we're here to compare options and um, and suit your uh, your time frame and meet your criteria so uh, no doubt you have a video um, from me very soon. I'm working on another one with Carolyn. And um, I did start putting those um, deals of the week videos together. But um, the one that I did previously, a couple of weeks ago, every single home is still on the market. So they obviously weren't that good of a deal. Um, so I've got to be a bit better with my um, deals of the week videos and um, I will be putting some of those together very soon as well. So if you haven't already, please like this video and support the channel and, um, and subscribe if you want to hear more about um, real estate from Tampa down to Sarasota. Um, always trying to turn more videos out, um, which I'm getting better at. And, um, and yeah, you'll no doubt hear from me very soon. Thanks so much again. Thank you.